This is the best place to shoot this aircraft. Spotters, professional spotters or amateurs, or, you know, they're really good guys. They want that key light, which is right there. Oh, gosh, it's hot. It's right there. They want it face, face, facing further west, but just see how the light just makes it just so beautiful out here. I got the 777 over there, and yeah, I probably should do a video on it. But to me, the 777 is just a jumped up version, a higher, more max, max capacity, max fuselage, re-engineered fuselage of the 707. This, this is a new thing. And the thing about this aircraft is in the 60s, everybody thought, well, late 60s, early 70s, everything's going to STS. We're not gonna need this aircraft. We're not gonna need this, but we're gonna make it anyway because it'll make a great freighter. <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. For 50 years, it's still a great freighter. Um, no one's been able to do. Antonov has done close, but they haven't been able to recreate the success that this aircraft has done. I mean, nobody does quality, or at least nobody did. I don't know, I'm not an AMP, but it's just such a legendary aircraft. It's beautiful, distinctive, and it's a tragedy that we're not making more of these. Oh, it's a tragedy because of economic. Well, you can always make the economics work. So if there's a will, there's a way. This, this is what we get from Chicago. Boeing Chicago, not Boeing Seattle. <laughs>